hello guys welcome back to the channel so today i'll be showing you how to make this egyptian hijab so if you are interested continue watching the video so to start i'll be folding my fabric into four and i'll be placing my front fabric to be like 58 inches and that is the measurement of the front um front length of the hijab and for the wideness for me i'll be using 25 inches wideness depending how wide you want your hijab to be can make it 25 28 and so more so after that i'll be placing my i'll be placing a four inches um four inches measurement at that point i showed earlier and i'll be going down by 14 on the sides or much more than that so I'm going with 14. So from that four point four inches to my 14 inches, I noticed that it's not up to the length of the side of the hijab. So I'll be I'll be placing it to make sure that the side of the hijab is like 27 inches. So the side of hijab is where your hijab is reaching before you fix the sleeve, and exactly how it is from the center of the head to where your hijab is reaching the sleeve before it before you put the sleeve. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So I'll be using 27 inches, and where it, anywhere it's reaching, I'm just mark it like that, and I'll form a straight line. Don't forget what I said, guys. From the center of your head to where your sleeve to before your sleeve will be um before you put your sleeve. Like you measure it and anywhere it's reaching, for me it is 27 inches and that 27 inches is what I'll be putting. We all know that the Egyptian hijab is the one with the side that the, the sewing is at the side and not at the front. So I'll just go ahead and mark that to form a straight line. So the four inches I took out, it was just the um, part of the, it's just this, the starting of where the um, cutting from the side of the head will be. You know, Egyptian hijab is the one with the side um, sewing. So for the back, the back will be longer than the front with five to six inches or, or much more. Five to six inches is okay for me, I'll be using six inches and i will just go ahead and you know cuff it to meet the side front i hope you understand what i'm saying here if you don't understand i'll be in the comment section and you can actually ask your question there this is because you have to add extra inches to the back so that if you put it the same thing the back will be jumping while the front will be reaching the ground so it will not be nice that way so for this sleeve for the opening of the sleeve, you measure how wide you want your sleeve to be. Mine, I want it to be 6 inches. I don't want it to be too wide. So sometimes I go with 7, sometimes I go with mainly 6 or 7. So I'm going with 6 inches here. And I'll just mark that point and I'll just, you know, kind of notch it so that I will know where my sleeve is. And the next thing for me to be doing here is to cut the sides. So I'll just be cutting the sides of my hijab here so like I said earlier that 4 inches I took first was just the point at which the side seam will be, will be starting and that is like saying from the center of your head to your sleeve minus 4 minus your sleeve that is what you will now get to find this uh, 27 inches please if you don't i don't know how to probably explain but if you don't understand i'll be in the comment section and i will i'll be so happy to explain it to you properly so here i'll just cut it and one thing i'll be doing is that I'll be separating the top part that four inches i'll separate it so that because the what i'll be working with next will be on the front fabric and not the back at all so for the back what you do is that you notch the center of that back um fabric i'll be showing you all that so i'll be removing my back from it just like the way i'm doing so you can see i'm removing i'm removing i'm removing my bag sorry guys and i'll be folding my 
front like that just to, i'll just arrange it because i'll be working with that face now this is the part your face is entering so you know what well, the four inches plus four inches that's like eight inches minus half inches that's like everything will be around seven inches and seven inches is not even enough for your for your face for my face circumference it is actually 24 inches plus my allowance is 23 inches i added one inches sewing allowance to it so i'm just notching the back the back here so the back is just that four inches therefore if you open for it to make it eight why measuring it out that eight is where your side seam will start you understand so now to 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 add up to that um eight inches i'll be removing eight inches from my 24 inches and whatever it is remaining divided by two and that is this um the um uh, the circumference or let me say the curve i'll be making out so here i'm just showing you how i'm removing my eight inches from my 24 inches so removing eight minus 24 you'll be having something like i think 16 okay so 16 divided by 2 and it will be something around 8 if you think it's too big you know after holding the half of an inch on both sides it will reduce it to 23 so that's basically what i'll be doing here i'll just like ensure that i'm coughing it out so that it to give me that eight inches that i'm looking for nothing more nothing less so that i will not have like it to fit my face perfectly so here i'm just coughing it out and i will ensure that it is reaching the measurements that i want so i'm just showing you that after multiplying by two plus by the eight inches i headed earlier it should give me 24 inches that's what i'm just trying to show you here don't forget the measurement I explained earlier, the center of your head to your sleeve, like to where you want your sleeve to hold, to, to reach. So you suppress the length of the sleeve you want, the length of the sleeve you want, you suppress it from the length you got. Then you remove the 8 inches from the um, from where your side seam will be starting. So I'll just be cutting it out. So after cutting it out basically i'm done with my front and the back so the next thing to do is that i'll be cutting out my sleeve okay so the egyptian sleeve is usually on foot the boat will be on foot so i have to like fold my um my fabric into four so that i'll be cutting the two together so for the length of my hijab i'll be going with um I think eight inches i'm not really sure what i use i'm sorry guys i think eight or nine inches and for the um for the length sorry for the um breadth i'll be using 12 or i'm sorry 13 inches this is just in case you know um i want to you know make my sleeve wider or not and just to give it a room and a sort of an allowance you know the sleeve i used earlier was just um 12 inches so guys here yeah, i'll just be measuring out my sleeve measurement which is like 8 by 13 inches and i'll be cutting it out as you can see i'm measuring my 13 inches i'll be joining it with my ruler and I'll go ahead and cut it out. Like I said, my boot sleeve will be on fold. So me doing this like this means that I'll be getting my two sleeve together. So guys, I'm done with my sleeve. The next thing I'll be doing is to cut out my cap. 
so for my cap i'll be using it the length seven inches by five inches for my cap so what i'll be doing is i'll be folding my fabric into four again i'm sorry my camera is not really covering this part so i'll be folding my fabric into four again because my caps will be on fold so why it's still on fold i'll be placing my seven inches um measurement as the length of my cap just the way i'm doing so i'm sorry my camera is already covering it i hope you understand what i'm saying i'll be folding it like that and i'll be placing my seven inches and for the wideness of the cap i'll be using five inches So I'll be connecting the two together in a semicircular form, just like that. And after doing that, I'll be cutting it out. So the next I'll be doing is just I'll be notching it to form the center of my cap. So guys, I'm done cutting all my um fabric. This is my cap, my sleeve, the side and the back um of the job. The next to be doing is that I'll go ahead and be joining. So the first thing I'll be doing is that I'll be joining this side of the back and the front um fabric. So here I've already I think I've already joined this side of my front and and back fabric so the next thing is that i'll be fixing my cap i will find the back notch that i made earlier and i'll be putting the um putting my cap notch on it as well and i'll take it to my sewing machine and i'll be st stitching it down with the right side facing each other so why after doing that the next i'll be working with is my my sleeve for my sleeve i'll be um smoking it that is smearing or what they call it i'm not sure of the name so i'll be using the um smoking rubber and i'll place it like i'll form me like maybe like one, um, three or four five six stitch so here i've already fixed my cap as you can see i've already fixed my cap to my hijab but i've not joined the side of my hijab because i've not fixed the sleeve so here i've already fixed my cap as you can see how it is looking i've already stitched um the part of the neck remaining and this is my sleeve that i told you about i'm sorry my camera is not very like sharp here because i have to just film this film this at night so here the um this is my sleeve and i've already make like i think six stitch across it with my smoking rubber and the next thing to do is that i'll be fixing my sleeve after fixing my sleeve i'll join the sides of the hijab the remaining sides of the hijab and i'll finish the m of the hijab and that is all basically that is all guys the sewing is very very easy and doesn't take time you can basically do this like within one hour and that's just it basically that's just it sewing hijab is very 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 easy and after that You'll be getting this as the result, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you in my next video.